Hello, Joan. We're in the neighborhood of Shoemaker Manor. Um, I'll show you the entrance on the way out. I'm stopping before we get to the home. By the way, um, it's so good to come here in person before we make a decision. These are actually duplexes, which means it's only two houses together. I'll show them and then we'll look at the tree when we get there to see how big it is. Some of these trees are smaller than, than bigger. So we're going to 932 West Shoemaker. So go ahead, Bill. idea of the neighborhood, Joan. People take care of their yards. Here's what a duplex looks like. So the garages are put like, together. This one's going to be, I'll show you when we get to there. I like that someone put a screen in um, front. Looks like some people have fences. And again, these trees, and I'll let you look at them in person. Um, these are, I don't know what kind of trees they are, I can find out. I mean, some are taller than others. Um, in my opinion, these aren't scary trees. They're not the kind of trees I think would, like, fall over. They're not, they're not like the ocean pines trees, Jones. Okay. So, right here, huh? Yep. So, Joan, here's 932. There is a fence backyard. There are some, in back of the, um screened in thing what are some taller trees but they're at least what how many feet back six or eight i'll have to see so we're just going to go around i see two women um walking which is nice to see people outside here can you stop bill i just want to show you these trees they're beyond the what do you call it the fence and again these are strong trees joan now that's when somebody else's property so, I'm just going to ride around just to get a flavor, nice vehicles. Um, now this person, can you slow down? Now go up here. Now Jim, what some of these people have done, I thought this was smart, and this doesn't cost a lot of money. See, like this person's tree, they had somebody trim it down so, that, so it wasn't so tall. That's not expensive. Um, Wow, that person has a nice car. <laughs> um, anyway, the other thing is I could find out from the association, I'm assuming they let people remove a tree, and this tree, to remove this type of tree in the front yard would probably cost, what, maybe $800 at most? Like even 1000 but again, that could be, if you love everything else about this neighborhood, that's not a big deal. Look at what these people did. Again, that doesn't cost much money. They, they cut it back. They cut these back. Um, just want to get give you a sense, and we'll go around there again. Just want to get you a sense of how people, and there's not many steps, even if you do go in the front. And looks like some people fence in their backyard. Um, I love how the people are taking care of their their grass. Um, let's see, nice cars. let you keep looking nice community I like what these people did put little bushes Bill and I love these red trees Joan I don't know if you like them I know you can plant them looks like some people have sun rooms I wish I could get in the back of that house, but it's not listed yet, and I can't really walk around it yet, Joan, but I'm going to go back and I'll let you know when 932 comes up again. I love these little light posts, which is nice. Here's what the garage open looks like. That bill's going to do a bit too fast, but that's okay. You know what the garage looks like. Um, here's overflow parking, which is nice.
So, stop for a second. Here's 932, Joan. And again, that tree could be cut down if you think it's too tall. But again, you know, I don't know if you can tell, but it's one of those trees. I don't know what, I guess you don't know. But see, look at the neighbor, Joan. They cut theirs back so it's not tall. So that's definitely something that, that doesn't cost as much as taking a tree down. Um, they have the, this one does have a fenced in backyard. That'd be nice for the kitty cat. And like I said, I want to show you can't go to the thing but there's you know the bigger trees are definitely eight feet back you know that's on another property and I'm gonna go slow got the front door open and then here's the neighbors and I looked inside and they're the neighbors are white how's that for being blunt <laughs> I'm sure there's a variety of people, but they take care of their properties. They have nice cars. Um, when we leave, and I'm going to make this a long video, because when we leave, I'm going to show you a park that I absolutely love, because I love parks. Um, and then also, behind these homes, it looks like there's some open area. There is a high school back there with, you know, track and all that stuff. I don't know if you're interested in all that. There's definitely some open area, too. Can you go out straight? I'm gonna go out a different way. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Looks like we've got bird feeders. Again, this person cut back their tree. I can find someone tell me what kind of tree it is, but that's definitely something that apparently the people that built this whole neighborhood decided to put that type of tree for everybody. I'm assuming that's for ease. But here's a view of, again, these are called duplexes, Joe. That's, that is an end of group, definitely. And you only, again, the only wall is the one for the garage. Now we're going out. And Bill, when you get to the entrance, I'm going to show you how pretty the entrance is. There are homes around here that are beautiful, big homes. So this is an area that has some upscale to it, around it. It's not, you know, um, so I'm going to let Bill, here's the entrance. <coughs> Say hi, Bill. Okay, stop. Hi. Stop. Say Shoemaker Manor. And then straight across. That's exit only. We're going to go in. Where's the entrance? Up there? Or down there? Right. So, Joan, right across from this neighborhood is a park. Of course, they close at night. It's right across. It's a walking distance. But when you get that dog, there's a walking trail. And then I'm going to show you. We're going to go in. Park patron. And for once, June, I'm going to get out of the car because Bill's letting me. Oh, is that Frisbee stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. Bill and I have this stuff to make. To, it's called Frisbee, Joan. We only played it once in our life. But I want to show you this. This is across from this neighborhood. This is Wacomico River. This is a park. I'm going to show it to you. This is something that Bill and I would bring our kayaks and kayak. We haven't done that yet. And of course, if you want to try kayaking with us, not that you have to move in this development to do that, but it's nice. People have, let's see, do they have, let's see. So here's the river, Jen. This is nice to come out, see birds, see ducks actual river we can get a permit to have a nice um, party there
inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn you off now and um, then I'm gonna see what's around here. Um, see if, I'll let you know, I'm gonna find out where like the closest, what I call shopping shopping. And then of course I'll let you know how far it is to the mall. It's not far, um, but all right. Love you, hon, bye.